Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more of this. This is the Castle of Hell, Pandemonium! Indeed it is, the final dungeon of Final Fantasy II, Pandemonium! is here. Which is where we are. <laughs> so... Yeah. Here we are. In Final Fantasy 2. I need to stop that or else I'll start talking in circles. Which no one wants. So... Death Rider. Mantis Devil. Yeah! Gasp! Yeah, new monsters! And that has a drain attack, so I'm thinking it's probably undead. Gotta watch out for that. Of course, on the flip side. Yep, it was undead, alright. <laughs> Wait, was that Pyre 17? Well, that's not... well, that's kind of a pushover, actually, but... Even so, that's not fair. I... It's supposed to max out a 16! <laughs> what is this 17 bullshit? And a Thunder Spear. Okay, so... So, 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 we are here in the final dungeon ever of Final Fantasy II. Ever. Oh, I like hearing that. The final dungeon ever of Final Fantasy II. <laughs> this time around, we are not going to go all the way through, through it. What we are going to do is tackle every single optional piece of... Uh, optional boss and treasure in it. Which is quite a lot. So what was I saying? Something about... I don't even remember. Oh well. Um, what I can say though is that, well, this is sort of a funny thing to say considering where I am, but I really hope that I run into more things that are not, you know, dead. Are these dead? I don't know. There's one way to find out. Fire! I'm not risking using Osmos on them. I do not want, I mean, I have the ethers, but all the same. It absorbs fire. Oh. That's unexpected. But probably means it is, uh, counts as not dead. Well, at this point, there's only one thing to find out. Okay. We're good. Boy. But yeah, because... Even though I have the ethers, I don't really want to have to use the amount I would need to fully restore Mario's MP. That's a lot, you know? That's a lot. Okay, so, I haven't said it yet, but I don't care about anything at all until we get to the third floor in terms of items. I don't even know if there are any boxes before then. This- wasn't this a boss before? I think it was. I think it probably was. Let's kill it. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's just kill it! Well, killed it. That one too. They're all dead. All of them. And... I don't know if that's even useful, to be honest. It might be. Um... I need stairs! I know this is not something I care about, but I don't know what it is. So, and I'm right here, so... Mithril Golem. That actually sounds like a massive pain in the ass. <laughs> like, this is how much of a pain in the ass it is that I'm using Berserk, is how much of a pain in the ass that sounds like. <laughs> And now it's dead. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's neither. Okay, that was not really worthwhile. 
So, I just realized those Death Knights really like dropping ethers. So, you know, that could be useful. Sure, I can pop. You're just a Lamia Queen. I'll kill you with a... Frankly, probably overkill. Actually, yeah, it, it was. It was so overkill that it only took one hit. Out of a possible two. Apparently. So, that happened. And that- this, by the way, is why I was- wanted to kill the Lamia Queen really quickly. These things- well, first of all, they can only hit Leon here. And second of all, it wears off immediately, pretty much. The Lamia Queen, I reason, has a much better odds- have, that didn't sound right. Um, has much better odds of being successful with that. And also making it stick for more than half a turn. Um, well, this is probably where we want, I guess. Floor 3. There's one item on this floor that I sort of care about, but I'm not going to go out of my way for. If I would need to. And it's an elixir. So, yeah, it's an elixir. I don't even need to say anything else, because elixir, you know? What else needs to be said? What? What? What just happened? Did, did I just cure on a Lamia? How did, how did that just happen? Just, I just don't even know. Uh, I, just, I just don't. That was just weird. Uh, use haste. Not because I think it will help, but because haste has almost leveled up. And level 5 haste is better than level 4 haste. And get out of there, attack the Lamia. Oh wait, he did it. Okay, I should have attacked a different Lamia with the gun. Oh well. And he missed everyone. He, she missed everyone. Shouldn't Leon be immune to that? Or at least highly resistant because of his his armor? I think he should be. And yet. Ah oh well. What you gonna do? Pretty much. I'm really glad this only stuns in this game, because if it killed like it does in later games, that would actually be a real pain in the ass. Haste, level up! Got ya. Okay, um... Did I just go in a circle? I did. Okay then, let's... Is this it? That's it. Okay! Now we just need to find the stairs. Uh, after we fight Mithril Golems. Time for Berserk, because maybe they aren't a pain in the ass. I don't know. Nope, they're definitely a pain in the ass. That was a critical hit uh, on Furion, and it did less than 500 damage. Yep, okay, that's just five. And I don't know what they're weak against, so let's use Flare. Maybe they're weak against nothing. Who knows? I sure don't. But... Flare. Usually works out pretty well. Most of the time. Kind of, kind of, it's thing. Oh hey, shield level up. A whopping four. Damn it. And five. I really wish I knew how to increase the left hand number though. It might just be a matter of grinding it up, to be honest. Yeah, he is eleven now. Oh, they all do. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Wait a second. 56? I thought his armor was supposed to have better magic defense than that. Wait a second. Eh, it's the same either way. It's, it's still the same problem, in any case. He does not have this, or this for that matter, both of which give magic evasion. Uh, and so does this. And this. Uh, I don't think the Thief Glove does, though. I don't think it does. Well, maybe it does, because he has 77. <laughs> okay, then. Anyway, let's find the stairs. Or... Tell him. No? Damn it. Ah, uh, I guess we need to go the other way. Uh, we should probably kill this, though. Like, don't get distracted, dude. Let's just use this. Because it doesn't really seem that threatening. I mean, it's annoying. If it was more than just one, I would probably use Berserk. Because it would save me time in the long run. But against- oh, that is actually a lot of damage. Still, against just one, Double Flare is probably the best way to go. Well, well, to be fair, Berserk then Flare would probably still be, um... Well, they both work. I guess. And Flare leveled up! Huzzah! Okay... Uh, over here, I guess. That would make sense. This place is a bloody maze, is what it is. Flare's attack animation is starting to get really badass. I will- oh hey, here's the telepath. And this is, looks like a good time to show off Flare, level 10. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It didn't actually kill it though. Way to fail, Mario. Like, just seriously, come on, girl. You gotta do better than that. I know you can, but you didn't. Oh, oh! It dropped a protect ring! I don't wanna. I don't really wanna upset her triumphant. Er, triumph. Her perfect elemental resistance setup. So, let's put it on you. Four. That, oh, look at that magic defense. Didn't really actually help his evasion that much. Maybe a little bit, but not really that much. It increased his magic defense a whole lot, though. Um. Hmm. Wait. 60? Was it strength 70 before? I thought it was. I th hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, it, it kind of does. Wait, 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 wait. Is that just from... Okay, it, it was. He gets plus... Is that really? Wait, I need to do some... Six... Forty? Really? Man, his strength is way too low. Like, wow! Just wow. Uh, hmm. That's making me reevaluate this a little bit. Uh, plus 10 strength would be really good, but I think the massive armor boost is ultimately more worthwhile. Um, although on the flip side, I could really make his attack off his. Eh. Let's try that again. I could really make his strength really obscene, but whatever. I think the weapon matters more. The weapon and weapon level matter more than your raw strength anyway. 
Not to say that raw strength isn't important, it really is, but anyway. This floor is where things get weird. There's four doors. We, I'm going to, well, we. Right, sorry about that. That's going to be a nasty cut. Um, we're, I am going to go through all four of these doors. Only one goes where we want. Or where we care about. But, all four, let me try saying that again in a way that makes sense. Only one leads to the Emperor, but the other three lead to hidden treasure, well, and optional bosses. And I'm gonna fight all of them, because it. I said I would, pretty much. Uh, let's actually use Osmos on this, I'm curious. The other golems had MP, not this one though. Not this one. So yeah, door number one! This is kind of a maze, by the way. So, yeah. Well, the whole place is, really. Uh, this way? I don't know. I know where I'm going once I get to the box. Because there's more than one treasure through this door. Um, but I need to get get to it first. <laughs> I don't know how to get to it, but I know where to get to the thing I want after I've gone to it. So, you know, that ma that makes sense, right? I know how to get to it after I've gone to it. <laughs> no, you, you'll, you'll see what I mean. You'll see after... not there. Um, oh hey, it's right there. Uh, maybe. No, no it's not. Okay, that's the other box that I was talking about. I know how to get to that box from this box. Beast Demon! Okay, if they're anything like the last demon, they absorb fire. So... I'm not gonna test if they're undead. I guess. Or maybe I will, because I need to use Osmos. I know the next thing I fight is definitely undead, so... Well, they're kind of not really that strong. Whatever. Worst case, I just need to pop a bunch of ethers. I have the ethers. Uh, they're not undead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. They are, however, right for dead. <laughs> Now, face the wrath of the Genji Gloves, Zombie Borgan! Remember this asshole? He's back as a zombie and he's actually a total pushover. Uh, actually I didn't know he could do that, to be honest, but I do know he only has very little HP and he's weak against fire. And he's just a total pushover. Like, Maria might be able to just have been able to. Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Maria would have one shot him. That is how weak he is. But hey, Genji gloves! The Genji equipment, glove, helm, and armor is the best in the game. However, in terms of defense. However! Let's just demonstrate this. 37. It is also by far the heaviest. It is so stupidly heavy, in fact, that I am not going to use it because it is not worth using because you will not be able to dodge if you wear even a single piece, you will not be able to dodge for shit. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. I'm gonna try the Genji armor on Furion. Just on the off chance it doesn't drop his evasion much. I, like, I already know it will, but I'm gonna try it anyway because, I don't know, I don't trust the numbers. Uh, let me think. I need to check my directions. 
I already said this place is a na maze, okay? Um. Oh! This thing. This is a rare encounter. I didn't think I'd run into it, actually. It is basically a mini boss. Well, it's a full boss, really. You can hear the music. It is, is, um, pretty much immune to magic. I don't remember the exact number, but it has 100% magic evade up to a large number, which effectively means you can't do shit to it with magic. So, hence, Berserk. It is also actually worth buffing, because it can sort of really hurt you badly. <laughs> Frankly, it is a bigger threat than the z zombie that was guarding the box. It also drops a bu Genji equipment, incidentally. Um, so, you know, that's cool. Did I just use Haste on Furion instead of Berserk? I did, didn't I? That's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Oh well. Oh well. Do that, and I'm gonna do this anyway because while I know it has about the highest magic defense as anything I've ever fought, by a large margin, even, I don't actually know how that will affect an attack spell like Flare. So, you know, learning experience. Let's find out. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad, yeah. To be fair, Magic Defense, it ran away. I didn't know it could run away! Oh, that's bullshit. So, anyway, um... Where am I going? Here? No. Uh... Here, I think. Wait. No. Damn it. Okay, so... I may have been lying just a little bit when I said I knew how to get here. Uh... Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! Okay! It was right there. Damn it. Oh, these are new. Um, probably not undead. Probably poisonous, though. I guess I'm about to find- well, ooh. Or I could just do that. Confused, so they definitely have MP. And it just confused- oh. Oh my. I didn't see that coming. Wow. And it actually hit Maria. Wow. I'm I'm impressed, actually. And yeah, Mario doesn't like Leon apparently. Oh well. Oh well. Now, let's, let's, I need to, wrong menu, heal him. The reason, by the way, I'm using cure instead of potions is because I want my cure to be as high level as possible, because then it's, frankly, way more useful than a potion in battle. Uh, I want to stand here, I think? Yep, this is it. This! Ahem. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. This is the ultimate treasure! The very, very pinnacle of what we will achieve. Way better than that Ultima bullshit. It is indeed the ultimate weapon! The Masamune! And it is bitching. Watch Furion's attack stat. Just watch it. 115? Say hello to 165! <laughs> It is just the so stupidly powerful. <laughs> like, 
It actually come to think of it is basically the same as the Mass Moon in Final Fantasy 1. Now that I think about it. You get it in the final dungeon, and it's so powerful that you could stick it on a black mage and they would be hitting nearly as hard as your fighter or ninja. Or I guess paladin at that point. Um now, here's the thing. I'm gonna save here because I'm about to use warp and it there's a small chance that this will send me to outside of pandemonium. Um so well Nope. Okay, we're where we wanted to go. <laughs> Cause the thing with using warp and pandemonium is it it's not impossible for it to send you to the jade passage. So be cautious of warping. That said, onward to door number two. Uh no. It's here somewhere. Is this it? Nope. Uh, there we go, shortcut. And the box, the, ge what Genji arm equipment is this? I don't remember. Helmet, apparently. And more importantly, Tiamat. Queen Bitch of the Dragons, in more ways than one. She's kind of scary, she absorbs most elements. Uh, basically, you just need to use, um, Flare against her. Flare, and the Masamune. I actually kind of hope, well, maybe not. We'll see. Just, we'll see. Nope, we're gonna see Masamune berserked out, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. It'll be impressive. She has really stupid defense, but it doesn't matter. Well, okay, it does matter. Only 2,000. If I, With Excalibur, I'd probably be lucky to hit 1,500, but, you know, anyway. I'm. What I'm gonna need to do is just show a battle with some random enemies. Then you can see just how stupid the Masamune is in demonstrative form. And did she just use thunder on me? Yeah, I think she did. Uh, this should, not that. Furion's next attack should kill her. Woo. Big surprise there. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, uh, yeah, let's do that. Higher level protect sounds like a good idea. I think that was a critical hit, so I can't really take too much credit for it. And a life tome? Really? That is so worthless. Save before warping, and warp. Um. Whatever, it works. I did tell you that warping in Pandemonium is dangerous. Uh, this is a bad thing to demonstrate the power of the Masamune against. Oh well. Oh well. Just oh well. I guess. Uh, I feel like I should have a higher level shell, cause it would- well, maybe not. Honestly, I'm not really worried about magic. It's kind of the thing where it just doesn't deal enough damage that so you need to worry about it. Usually. I mean, well, pretty much. Well, I one-shot the Mythic Roll, and that's pretty damn good. I guess. Anyway... Hmm, I wonder if my next warp will put me onto floor two. I hope not. Floor three I can handle, but any further back and it would be a real pain. Uh, next is door number four. Spoiler alert, door number three is where the Emperor is. Um, right. 
Right, so this is just as mazy as all the other places, but it has a pretty straightforward path. I well, yeah, right here. Okay, this is the armor and is guarded by the Lord of Health. Um, no, not the Emperor, the other one. Namely, the Lord of Flies, Beelzebub. Who's kind of, you know, yeah. Um, oh, actually, well, I want to use Berserk first, but I'm not going to use Haste. I want to use Osmos against this guy, because the way he's programmed, he tends to prefer using magic attacks, well, which I would rather encourage him to use physical, because I'm suicidal, apparently. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking even saying that. I knew it was a bad idea before I finished talking about it. What was I just saying a few minutes ago? Gee, I don't know. Maybe that... Hey, magic doesn't hurt me much, but physical attacks do. Oh, yeah. Well, whatever. He's almost dead. Big surprise. He has 5,000 HP, which is a lot if you don't have the Wombo combo that instantly kills things. Um, actually, is he undead? I don't think so. Eh, there, there's no way he's undead. I can do that safely. Or I could use Flare instead. Right, let's go for that. And Firon will definitely kill him with his next hit. Yeah. Overkill, even. But let's check out that Genji armor. Maxed out evasion turns into... Not well, that's actually not too bad. All things considered. I guess his armor was already weighing down a lot, though, so it's not that much of a difference. Um... Yeah, that's probably worth it, actually. Compared to the dragon armor. For an extra... 26 defense? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm not putting any other Genji equipment on anyone, so... Um... If I had another Genji armor, I would probably put it on Leon as well. <laughs> but I- uh, actually no, when his evasion is not high enough to take it. Okay then, uh, save. And... And, and, and... Warp! Again, I'm finding for level 3. Okay, time for the door number three, the final door. Pandemonium si man, man, man. The flooring in Pandemonium is just so screwy. Let's see, I want to kill the wolf because it can do things that really annoy me. And also, this is a good time to finally demonstrate on a regular enemy just how stupidly powerful the Masamune is. Before, mind you, I could deal around a thousand to this sort of thing. Maybe a little bit more, depending on how lucky I was. That was a critical hit, I think. So, maybe not best example, but still, 1800 damage. Which would be impossible with the Excalibur. Um, damn it! Stupid critical! I didn't want that! Chance number two. Do not score a critical hit this time. Oh wow. I need to use Osmos with Maria. Her MP is actually starting to get low. Okay, maybe that was a critical hit that time? Actually, did I only hit him five times? No. 15. Uh, maybe that wasn't a critical hit anyway. It just sounds so awesome. It always sounds like it's critting. <laughs> um, right. 
Anyway, it does do like the sh bullshit high de- uh, really? Fire gaze? I mean, I know I thought this was a boss before, but it's also kind of a huge pushover. Um, no, use it on one of the ones in the back, Maria. One of the ones in the back. Because that, if that cannot one child bomb, then I'll be seriously disappointed. Damn straight. And... yeah. Remember when that was a boss in the Mystia Tower? <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. Now, this is... Not only is this the last optional treasure- well, I say optional, it's on the main path. Anyway, this is the last treasure we'll get, and a very valuable one, actually. But when I say that, I don't just mean the last one this episode, because, spoiler alert, I'm gonna cut off after this episode. This is the last treasure that I that is remotely valuable in the game. Which is appropriate because it's a ribbon. But also, it's guarded by the... Well, you'll see. Yeah, this guy. This guy? This guy. Is just straight up the most powerful anything we have fought, period, so far. I'm pretty sure he's second only to the boss of the game. Is how badass he is. <laughs> he's really beefy. Like, really beefy. Um... We... I could use... Osmos on him to make him use magic- or er, physical attacks, but that would actually be bad, because not only will this hurt me more, but he absorbs life when he attacks you. Cause, you know... Yeah... Not bad enough without that. He also has 7,000 HP, which is the most out of anything we've ever fought. He's a prime contender for using the Blood Sword, but I'm not going to because I'm a baller. Um, apparently. And he basically has maxed out defensive stats. Well, almost maxed out. To be fair, the Iron Giant probably has better um, magic defense than him. But other than that... Other than that, there is, he's basically second to none. Well, let me rephrase that. He's second to none, but the, but the undead ruler of hell, the Emperor himself. Fortunately, I can still hit for like 2600 damage with Ethereum. <laughs> Which is actually really good, because otherwise this would take a really long time. Oops, don't haste everyone, that's a waste. Haste Leon. Because, yeah, he actually is really, really powerful if you give him half a chance to hurt you, which I'm not doing. And now he's dead. <laughs> Man, am I even gonna use the Blood Sword on the Emperor? I don't even know anymore. I probably will. <laughs> But, I just kill, kill everything so quickly anyway, it almost seems like a waste. Almost. Uh, this will disrupt her perfect, uh, magic blocking thing. But, it's a ribbon. Which actually, by the way, 81, too far. 92! And I'm not actually going to do that. I like her better having this, which, well, that's only one more armor, isn't it? I like the resisting lightning, but it's actually really not a big deal at all. Uh... Can you wear the Genji gloves? You can! Okay, well that's the most valuable setup then. For her. Okay. And I would give her a different shield if I had one. Uh, unfortunately, I never picked up the, any dragon shields, which is the second best shield. 
Because who no bloody knows where those are? I sure don't. Um. But oh well. I should, however, I sh wow. Yeah, I should give you a different shield, because you have double lightning protection. Ice shield it is! Okay. We're gonna have no more changes for there. We are, however, gonna stop here. Join me next time for the final episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II! When we confront the Emperor again! As the Lord of Hel Hel when he's the Lord of Hell, not us. And finally, finally smite his un unholy abomination ass. And finally are able to take revenge for Furion's pants. <laughs> but until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy 2 with Chaos Blue. And have a nice day. <laughs>